today, be grateful for what you have and not what you don't have. Today on The Victim Economy, I wanted to cover this story that uh, I think if anyone lives in uh, New South Wales or Australia will probably know about. Um, it was a drug, drug driver, drunk driver who killed four children in a horrific crash. Um, it was it was incredibly horrific. Um, these four um, all related family members were um, taken away from their parents in a, in a horrific accident. And um, quite often um, people tend to forget that uh, you need to be grateful for what you do have and not what you don't have, especially in these tough times. Uh, with COVID and the uh, economy in Australia officially in a recession going on. A lot of people are doing it really tough. People can't afford to pay their bills, pay their mortgages. There's a lot of stress going on. And, and people tend to revert to this victim mentality and start complaining and, and saying, you know, like, oh, if, if this didn't happen or if you didn't do this or whatever. And I guess the point of this video today is to remind everyone that everyone is going through a tough time and to remember that you need to focus on what we do have and what is going good and what is good rather than focusing on what is bad because you need to put things into perspective you know when when you are struggling for money just be grateful that you weren't in a situation where you lost your family or, or, or something horrific like that so this is just a reminder that things could be worse and i'm, I'm not trying to diminish anyone's hard times but please don't become a victim don't become a part of that economy because i've run into too many people today that just complain that their life is shit because of somebody else i'm a victim people quite often don't let you speak unless you're a victim you know i i always see these stories and these situations where say and they're all super unfortunate where say uh, a mother lost her son to drink driving or or something like that or, or a, a terrible situation where a young woman was raped and they become an activist for um, these kind of organizations just say no and, and which I totally support but when you come in and even Black Lives Matter for, for an example if you're not a victim you're not allowed to talk so many times I've had conversations at work where you go to have an open discussion uh, a healthy discussion a, a respectful discussion about a certain topic and because somebody's been a victim um they shut you down you haven't lost your son to a car crash you don't know what it's like you're not allowed to talk so instantly i'm not allowed to have an opinion you know you weren't raped you're not allowed to have an opinion on rape and as i said all these things are horrible but this is the victim economy we live in. It's just an exchange of victimization and and, and blaming other people. And, and as I said, it doesn't forgive all these horrif horrific things. I'm just saying, don't become a part of that. Don't fall into that spiral and become a symptom. So just to cover this article again, drug driver 30 who killed four children in a horrific Oatlands crash will plead guilty as shattered family choose to focus on family and God instead of attending court. Now, this is literally the epitome of just the right thing to do. This family has lost so much, and yet they're not there to punish this person. They say they forgive him. They haven't taken the victim path. They didn't say, you know, my life, or oh, you owe me this, or, you know, they've they've dealt with it and they've got on with it and they're doing their best to move forward and I respect people like this so much because they have lost so much and have and they will never be able to have those things back again yet they still stand up and say we forgive you and let it go and they should serve for a message to everyone today you think your life is rough. You think COVID has made your life tough. Imagine how these people feel. Don't complain. Shut your mouth. Get on with it. Go out there and do what you can. I know plenty of people that have lost their jobs. And I know plenty of people that are doing what they can. 
and that's all you can do. But don't sit at home and complain about the way things are. Go and do something about it. And I know it's easier said than done, but if you don't have that mentality, you're not going anywhere in life. What do you think? Do you think I'm being arrogant? Do you think I'm being pig-headed? Tell me what you think. Put things into perspective. Until next time, stay positive.